Adam, it's Delara. I managed to find out some information on that Marchenko guy you asked me to look into. What'd you get? Well, for starters, he wasn't always Victor Marchenko. He... Shit. I have to go. My appointment just showed up. I sent what I found to your email. Hope it helps. Thanks, Delara. I'll check it out. Holy shit. Um... Hi, welcome back to Days X Mankind Divided. Um, so the first thing I want to start doing is follow up on the Kohler quest, so it's a side mission. They've contacted us and told us that they're ready to install our neuroplasticity calibrator thingy, which will make it so we won't have to sacrifice anything when we go to overclock. So this is the bookstore. Um, things have changed. It's been burned. Very recently, it's still kind of smoking. I guess the Diwali came back? Um... This is where I'm supposed to meet them, right? Oh, like right over here? Wait. Oh, down in the sewer? Camille Horrock. From Kohler, place for your stuff. Hey Camille, sorry to hear about the eviction man. Fucking bastards. There's a storage area behind my shop. You can keep some of your stuff in there. Hell, you can stay there if you need to. Just make sure you keep it to yourself. I don't like unwanted visitors. Yeah, Kohler's, Kohler's a really nice person. So have I been in the sewer system before? No, I don't think so. I didn't even know that was a thing. I never noticed it before. <laughs> That's so cool. So, uh, how you doing? I'm glad that your lab is apparently completely separated from the bookstore. At least you didn't lose everything. All those books, though. Oh my god, so many books. Thousands and thousands of them. Things with Otar aren't going so well, Jensen. Sorry about your place, Kohler. Are you alright? Physically, yes. Emotionally, I... I just kind of... You know I actually had some real good books up there. The bookstore was kind of a front, sure, but it was my front. The version of me I presented to the world. That... That means something. It means whatever deal you thought you had with the Diwali's is apparently off. My deal. Right. There's something you're not telling me about why Otar's got it in for you. Maybe he is just angry, you know? He takes it out on me because... Because I'm prettier than he is. Or maybe he just really doesn't like books. It's possible, right? Look, let's just optimize that rig of yours, huh? You got the neuroplasticity calibrator for me or what? I know you may not want to talk about what happened to your store. I get where you're coming from, okay? But try to understand, Jensen. I'm a guy who likes to respect privacy. Especially if the other person is someone who can kill me. Which is real good for you, actually. It goes both ways. You're willing to ignore what happened? I am trying to protect myself. Maybe next time, they don't just burn the store, huh? I rely on you, Kohler. And I'm willing to help if I can. I don't want to have to identify your remains next time I come in for a tune-up. Neither of us want that. But sometimes, it's better to sweep the ashes under the rug. Now oh, come on! 
Let's optimize that rig of yours. I think I'm gonna keep pushing. You can't hide forever. What are you gonna do when Otar comes back? What do you expect from me? I am tangled up with these people now. This is what I get for saying yes to Radich. But what choice did I have? What choice do I have now? Your choice is to tell me what the hell is going on. What does Otar want from you? He... He wants to know what I know about Radich. That Radich is... That Radich needs me. The way you need me, Jensen. You understand? Radich is augmented. The head of the Diwali man. If Otar finds this out, if any of the Diwali finds this out, they are not very open-minded about these things. Yeah, I get it, Kohler. So what are you gonna do? When augmented people ask for help, I help them. I continue to help Radich. All right. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. My pleasure. I was thinking we would get a quest to help them, but even if we, even though we pushed, uh, I guess not. I have four Praxis now. I have so much Praxis. More than I even know what to spend it on. So something I'm curious about, that means we won't have to overclock in the future, right? But did that undo the current augment that we sacrificed for the one overclock? Yeah, it did undo it. We have it back. Not that I ever you know, want to get the Nanoblade, but cool. Yeah, so just to show you some of the overclocking things. So I've already got the remote hacking one. That's fully upgraded. Um, there's the PEPS, the Projected Energy Propulsion System. Um, as you can from the, see from the little video there, it's like a big concussive force, so I believe it's non-lethal. But I don't really have any reason to do that. I don't think that offers any advantages over my other non-lethal options. Uh, it's similar to this Tesla. That's also just like a stun gun. Except it shoots out from my hand instead of being from a weapon. I don't really understand what the point of that would be over a stun gun. So I don't see the point of that either. Then there's also Titan. That just makes it so you can take shots and take less damage or take no damage, I think, possibly. Completely pointless for me since I'm trying to avoid all combat. There's focus enhancement, basically bullet time. Um, that actually could be useful. Actually, that could be pretty useful. That could, I could use that in some really cool ways. Mostly, I think, just for slowing down time and then tranking like everybody in a room before they can do anything. I, th I think that would be super cool. So maybe I would want to get that. And then the other one that uh, maybe I could want to get is Icarus Dash. It allows you to shoot forwards. I, I kind of want to call it like a blink, like blink from Dishonored, but I, I don't think it's like that at all. Because it only takes you forwards, it can't take you up or down, just like horizontally. Um, it would be good for getting me from one piece of cover to another without being seen, I'd imagine. However, now that I be can become invisible, what's the point? Like, I don't need to get from one piece of cover to the next super fast if I can just become invisible and just walk over there. 
so I don't really see the point of that either. See, I think maybe Focus Enhancement could be cool. Let's see, what does that cost? Two Praxis, and there's no upgrades to it. Yeah, so you can't upgrade the energy usage. No matter what, it's always going to cost high. Press speed, open the augmentation wheel, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just slows down time. Oh, it's called, <laughs> it's called the Hummingbird 9. It's the ninth and only iteration of RNS prototypes, which did not immediately cause the test subject's heart ventricle valves and artificial heart to overheat and burst on activation. Wait a minute, what does that show? Am I looking at a bullet? Is that a bullet in midair being shot? Oh no, that's a grenade, isn't it? Yeah, that makes more sense. It's not slow enough for you to catch bullets. But it is slow enough for grenades, apparently. Alright, I've got four Praxis. What the heck? Let's get it. Okay, let's test it out here. I'm definitely slower. Wow, these is a lot of power. It definitely does slow me down as well, but... I suspect I'm probably not as slowed down as the people around me, if I had to guess. I won't be able to tell until I'm actually in combat, but... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was oh, left to bleed fuck. in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Is that the murder victim that we've already seen, or is that another one? Yeah, they must have been just talking about... Uh, I, I forgot their name. Was it Anna Gun? It was something Gun. I think it was Anna Gun. I think I might have saw Montag, though. You're joking, right? That's them right in there, isn't it? Yeah. We did everything we could. Indeed. Okay, to the metro. I was going to go back on the main quest, because we don't have any side quests at the moment, but then I remembered. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I have two keycards to different corporate vaults at the Palisade Bank. We have the Tai Young Medical one, and I think Versa Life. And one of those just got cleared out, all the corporate secrets taken out of there, because they were worried about security. Rightfully so, since this place has experienced data breaches that they've been covering up. But yeah, one of them, even if I can get to it, probably won't have anything in it. But the other one probably still would. The thing is, though, you're not supposed to be able to go down unless you have an appointment. So can I just go down there even though I have the, the key cards? Or do I need, you know, some sort of a, like, a quest to get me down there in the first place? Let's find out. Need Versalive Vault Keycard. Wait. I thought I had a Versalive Vault Keycard. What do I have? Huh, yeah, so I have Tai Young Medical Vault Keycard and Tarvos Vault Keycard. But for some reason, I can only use this with the Versalife Keycard, which I don't have. I don't understand, though. There's more than just one vault. Wouldn't any one of those take you down there? Or, oh, I probably need that one specifically because they created the appointment to go see their stuff, right? And nobody else has. There must be a way to use these other key cards, but I guess just not yet. Time to go meet Miller. So you found the bomb maker. Linked everything to Ark. Not exactly. Jesus, Jensen. We did find the bomb maker. Allison Stanick, a local resident. We have her in custody now. But she told me she'd made dozens more bombs before we arrested her. And she delivered them to Viktor Marchenko. So it was Ark. Something more is going on here, Miller. Have you had a chance to backtrace the pocket secretary I gave you? Not yet, but I will. When I get back to the office. Good. Because Stanek also told me that Marchenko has a base of operations in the Swiss Alps. A research facility called Garm. That sound like something Ark has the resources for to you? I'll contact McCready. 
Get him and a few analysts to work up a plan. We need to move on this now. Chicane and I can fly there and back, get a lay of the land, while Mac and his team do the research. Really? Got it all figured out in that clockwork head of yours. Oh, what the hell? I'm in. You got enough fuel to get to Switzerland? To get us there, sure. Fine. Do it. But this is recon only. Do not engage. Contact me the minute you have something. Yes, sir. You've proven yourself so far on this one, Jensen. Don't screw it up. Copy that. Miller is not used to giving compliments, is he? He's getting static from the brass. They're starting to riot in Gollum over that shit with Rucker. I'm sure he doesn't blame you. Much. Anymore. And what do you think? I think tracking that bomb maker was some fine work. If the intel you got from her stands true, Gollum City will be the least of our problems. So what do you say we go find out how deep in it we are, right? You all set? I'm excited for what this place is going to look like. Switzerland. It's going to be a big change of scenery. I know you asked me to memorize that speech you gave when we first flew into Golem together, but what is that about? I... no, let's just go. All unfinished side missions will be cancelled if you leave. Ooh. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Not quite. Let me take care of some... I do technically have an unfinished side mission. It's the Mystery Augs, but, I mean, there's nothing more for me to do. I just have to wait. Yeah, so from that, we found Orlov, the scientist, Vadim Orlov, and we found their vault keycard. Oh, you know, it's probably the fact that we didn't decide to go to the to the bank. Okay, so yeah, it does sound like that. I would have had to have taken the go to the bank quest instead of go save Allison if I wanted to go to the Tai Young Medical Vault. So that can't happen. However, I don't think that actually has anything to do with being able to complete the quest. It sounds like at some point when I come back here, the quest will just reappear when David Seraf contacts me. So it, I guess it probably will cancel it, but then it should come back, so we should be fine. Yeah, fire it up. For the first time, snow! This is such a cool change of scenery. Anomaly detected. 
Trace program initiated. Access granted. You really must avoid taking those wrong turns. A little taste. So at the end you understand what you're interfering with. Give my regards to Talos. I thought there'd be more blood. You said Rocker was covered in it. Rocker had more meat in him than this one. Maybe that's the difference. But you're sure he'll die. The Orchid has no mercy. His end will come. It will be slow. And it will be painful. Just time enough for a man to think on his sins. It means the facility is compromised. We should move out. No. We were warned that this one was coming. We have time before they start searching for him. If you are certain, what about your friends from Ark? Those fools have outlived their usefulness. Let them drink a little more. Then those things will Don't go bodies with this one. Dead weight. You carry him now. This is as far as I go. You're flying back to Park. I need to meet with those Devala peaks. Get them to accelerate the timeline so our ship will clear his costumes immediately. They will want more money. Smugglers always want more money. But the valley won't get it. So the men and I should stay here and proceed as planned? Brown confirmed everything with Bikus last night. Date and time. Chicane, come in. Damn. How long have I been out? Contact Vega or Miller? Vega. Alex, it's me. I need help. Finally! Been trying to raise you ever since you blew off the bank. Where the hell are you? The Swiss Alps. Research facility called Garm. Walked into an ambush. I can't raise TF-29's pilot. The Swiss Alps? Fuck, man. It's gonna take time to scrounge up a VTOL. What happened? They were waiting for me when I got here. Marchenko and the gold mask mercs from Dubai. Jesus. You gotta get out of there. Look, stay low. Find an exit and... Well... I'll get back to you when I've got a plan. And I'll keep trying to raise my pilot. These guys think I'm dead, Alex. Maybe I can take advantage of that. Have a peek around. We learned a lot while we were sort of passed out. Uh, okay, for one, we don't appear to be affected by Orchid. Perhaps because we've, we have the experimental augs, maybe that protects us. We also learned that this... Whatever Marchenko is planning somehow involves Nathaniel Brown and Picus. Said something about Brown confirming with Picus the date and time of, of I don't know what of something, and they're shipping something. Also, they're involved with the Diwali. They're shipping something through the Diwali. Probably another bomb or orchid or something. Whatever their next weapon is, whatever their next hit is. And, well, I guess I already strongly suspected this, but there is somebody within TF-29 that is letting them know about what's going on in TF-29. They were told ahead of time that I was coming.
All right, well, I think I'll, I'll save the exploration of Garm for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.